Alrighty, guys, so we're here in potentially the final fight of the series. We are going to take our very best shot at Fenrir and see if we are going to be truly worthy and deserving of the Fjordner crown. That is what we're doing today, but before we get into all of that strategy, please make sure to leave a like down below. It does about the channel, you guys, and I do very much so appreciate it, honestly. It really does. Yeah. That aside, let's check it out, guys. So I was kind of thinking a little bit. I was trying to figure out what should we use as a strategy? What creature should we make as an army to take on Fenrir? And I was thinking about it and thinking about it. And I was like, yeah, we could bring up another set of mutations on a random creature or something. But I feel like it'd be just a little bit more poetic if we took it on using all of the creatures we had mutated and built an army for up to this point. So that is what we are going to do. We are going to be using a combination of our Dire Bear army only the ones with the Ascendant Saddles, though. So, 10 Dire Bears. Our remaining Shadow Mains from the Dragon Fight. Which, by the way, if you missed that video, definitely give that one a check out. And, uh, it was an ex it's an experience. It was a fun experience. I'll say that. I, will, I don't know about fun for... Anyway, it was, <laughs> it was a big deal for me. So, go give that, one, uh, that video a check out. And then, we're going to bring only a couple of our Megatheriums. Because, you know what? I feel like... Everybody has a Megatherium army, so I didn't want to bring a ton of them, but I still wanted to bring a few, you know? So yeah, we're going to be bringing a three different creatures into this bit, uh, the boss fight for Fenrir, and just see how it goes. Uh, initially, I really wanted to bring our Desmodus army, but flyers aren't allowed into the uh, arena bosses, which is unfortunate. So yeah, a little bit of a bummer. So instead, we had to substitute the Megatheriums in, and I just, yeah, we're going to see how this goes. There's a lot on the line here because... In order to fight Fenrir, we have to actually use the trophies we got from fighting all the other bosses. So, if we mess this up, we have to go redo some of those boss fights. And I do not want to do that. Especially the dragon. That's, yeah, it's... Anyway, a lot of the line with a lot going on here. So, yeah, let me get everybody set up. And, um, I'll bring you guys back and we'll take them on, man. We'll see how this goes. I think, uh, I don't really know what to expect. We went into the dragon very confident, and that turned out to be a um, big mistake. We should not we should not have gone into that fight as confident as we were. So, I don't really know what to expect of Fenrir, seeing as it comes after the dragon. I'm assuming he's going to be harder, but I don't, I don't really know. So, <laughs> we're going to find out together. Anyway, let me get everybody set up, and then uh, on to the boss fight. Alrighty, you guys, so the army is set up and ready to go. It, it is it's definitely a weird hodgepodge of creatures here that we have, but um, I'm really hoping it's going to work. Let me try and just squeeze some of these guys a little bit closer in there because I would hate to go into the boss fight without bringing every... Oh, God. Oh, geez. Uh, without bringing every ounce of muscle we can here. Here we go. Like so and like so. Okay. I guess this is going to do it. <laughs> there it looks so out of... Okay, anyway, let's just do it. Let's just hop in there. Let's see what we can do. Can I access the terminal from here? Not a bear. We can. Okay. All three beta trophies. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Beta Fenrir. Let's see how this goes. So, uh, seeing as we no longer have a U Tyrannus, I figured we would just ride on one of the Shadow Mains because my job in particular is just going to be to stay alive. If we die, everyone dies. So, yeah, we just need to hopefully try and stay alive. Oh, God. Is that Shadow Man over there? I mean,. His butt's not in, but everything else is in. We should be okay. We should be okay. All right, here we go. Let's see how this goes. All right, we're here. Oh, God. Oh, it's like an Asgard. Oh, I guess that makes a lot of sense. Pretty cool. Okay. Uh, so there's no lava that we have to worry about, like the, um, the dragon. It does look like there might be a little bit of a cliff that we can fall off of. So we need to be a little bit careful. Oh, oh, God. Oh, okay. Wait, wait. Okay, he's got Steinbjorn's mythical attacks, apparently. That's not good. Go get him, boys! Oh, jeez! Dodge! <laughs> so, yeah, my whole goal in the... Oh, God! Okay, well, apparently he's gonna have everybody's abilities, which is not good. Attack this one! Get in there! Oh, God, his minions are attacking things. Uh, what was I saying? So, anyway, yeah, my whole goal is to just simply find a way to stay alive in this fight, because if we die everyone dies and then we lose a whole lot of work so we're just gonna do our best we can maybe do a roar here can we roar it up yeah get some <laughs> that might help you guys a little bit okay okay so we summon spin rear like small fin rear minions in which go figure i don't really know what to expect by oh he's freezing the troops look at that i didn't even realize 
Should we watch like through a through a like this? Uh oh. Oh, I didn't know that he could freeze them. I don't like that at all. How's it look like they're doing now? I'm not seeing anybody bloody. I'm not seeing anybody bloody. This is good. This is good. Like we should not be struggling with the gamma at all. And if we do, that is a real problem. Oh my god. They actually have the chain here too. They really did a lot of. Oh god. They they really did do a. Oh, I'm frozen solid. I was gonna say they really did put a lot of attention into the actual lore of uh, Norse mythology. Oh god, how long are we frozen for? I need to watch my health. It's like I'm actually really close to dying. Oh my god, I'm really close to dying. We're halfway dead. Let's just get out of here. Oh, don't jump off the map. Don't jump off the map. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we gotta be really careful of that. Looks like we're handling business though. No problem. Come on. That's so cool. It's so cool that they have the chains here. That's really neat. Ow! Okay. All right. I need to back up a little more. We're taking a lot of damage, and I didn't bring medical bruise like a moron. But we should have it. We should have this. No problem. Come on. Oh, my God. You guys got this. Come on. I'll give you guys one last roar in there. Get them, boys. No, oh, come on. Come on. Yes! All right. Okay. Wow, that was way easy. Let's make sure we don't make the mistake that we did last time. Let's check to see if there's uh, anything on them. There's not. Oh, and we got the Finrear, and we got the Finrear himself! 150 female. Oh my god. Wow, that was, how much health did you actually have? You have uh, 385,000, interesting. We are going to maybe die if we don't teleport out of here soon. Oh my god, my health. Oh my god, my health, I need a bear. I need a bear. The bear didn't help, the bear didn't help. Oh my god, are we gonna freeze to death in the arena? Okay, please, 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 we need to get out of here soon. Look at our health! We have 53, 52, 51. Oh, <laughs> no! What happens if we freeze to death after the fight? Do we still die? Come on, please. Please! We're, I think we're just gonna make it out of here. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Oh my god! <laughs> I was really worried there for a second. Okay. We, it, it, everything's loading right now, that's why it's frozen. We might have to go back to base and get some fur armor because I there's no way that I am dying just off of that. That was awful. I didn't even bring food. Oh my God. Okay, so who got the stuff that we, we want? I didn't see who got the actual kill. Oh my God, hello. What did you do? <laughs> you didn't get the stuff. Was it you? It was you. Okay, we got the Gamma Finrear Trophy. Awesome. Okay. Not bad, it actually, let's see. I don't feel like they took a lot of damage. Look at that, this one took like 3,000 or so. Same with you, about 4,000, no, like 2,000 on that one. How'd the bears do? Okay, the bears took a lot more of a beating, seemingly, but they have a lot less health. Uh, They do have the Ascendant Saddle. How did you do? How did the Megatheriums do? Oh, we did just fine. Is Finra a little bit of a pushover? He might be. He really might be. What is this Rhino doing? Hey, man, you're not part of the group. <laughs> uh, okay. Wow, okay, so you know what I th we're gonna do now because it seems like the toughest part of this boss fight. Let me just put our Fenrir in there later. We'll check him out here in a second. Um, What I'm gonna do is I want to go back to our base. I don't know what this Rhino is doing, but he's freaking me out. Um, Like this, okay, yeah, just, just go off so I don't have to kill you. What I wanna do now is seeing that, oh, come on, is seeing that arena and realizing that we almost just froze to death I want to go back to our base, get our fur armor, and see if that makes any bit of a difference because I do not want to freeze in there. We might actually make up some med bruise as well. Oh, my God. Is it like Jotunheim? Is it like Jotunheim? Is that what makes this, this arena so dangerous is how long you have to spend in there? I didn't even think about that. That's a whole new wrinkle we have to think about. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. So, let me go back to base. Let me at least grab our fur armor. Let me see if we have any med bruise left. We might have a couple. Uh, and then we will come back and do it again because it seems like we made it out of that relatively scot-free. These guys are pretty healthy, surprisingly. They were getting frozen solid and everything, and we were fine. Granted, granted, that was the gamma. But it looks like this, you, this one is fine. That might be the one we were riding. Uh, it seems like the bigger challenge might be trying to survive the cold. Anyway, yeah. So, one second, you guys. Let me figure it out. Let me get everybody healed up. Let me go get my stuff. And then we are BRBs for the beta version. All right, guys. So coming back now, we are a little bit more prepared for this fight. I grabbed some food. I checked our fridge. Uh, we do have a couple of medical brews here that we can still use. We only have 23. 
Uh, and we have one free of curry left. So I figure if things get too bad, what is happening? Can we just, what is happening? Uh, hello? What the, what? There's a pack of dire wolves over here? Okay, just, just, I guess murder. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, I guess if things get too cold, as I was saying, we can pop the one free of curry we have. So ideally we save this thing for the Alpha Fenrir if we can. But if not, you know, that's fine. It's fine by me. Okay, let's land. Let's get everybody good to go. Steven, make sure you don't get close enough, buddy. We can't bring you in there. All right. Uh, beta, here we come. So let's grab our beta trophies, which are these. Yeah, yeah, the yellow ones. The yellowish ones. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get to the terminal through all that mess. Like, okay. Um, can I just... Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's do like this. We'll hop over this. Yeah! Okay. Can I access it? I can. All right. Beta, here we come. I'll say, the Gamma Fenrir was not nearly as intimidating as the uh, the Gamma Dragon was. We're just going to ride this one, I guess. You will be our mount for this fight. All right, we're here. I need a I need a Shadow Main. Any Shadow Main. This will have to work. Okay. We are on the female. Doesn't matter. Everybody, assemble the forces. Okay. All right. We are only Snowflaked, which is good. So maybe the fur armor is doing what we need it to do. I guess let's just send them in there and see what happens see if we can dodge some oh we can't even attack it yet okay uh no 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 they're going they're doing it kind of oh god oh god lag okay okay <laughs> um so yeah just seeing based off of the last fight i am pretty sure that my only objective is to stay alive somehow and just watch them are you freezing everybody i know and love alive please don't do that please leave our army alone let's see if we can get a roar oh we actually can't roar because we're on a female shadow main well, <laughs> we can stand here invisible, I guess. That's not good. We should probably get on a male Shadow Man so we could actually do the roar. Didn't think about that. We could actually come in here, mop up some of the minions at least. Leave the Dire Bear alone. Other Fenrir. Oh, God. No, I can't because if I do, they'll all stop fighting the Fenrir. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I was really thinking this might be a lot harder, but seemingly... This is going to be a little bit of a piece of cake here. This might be my moment. Uh, are one of you a male? I think this one is right here. Right here. Okay. We're good. Let me get out of here and we'll do a little bit of a roar. Get them, my pretties! Yes! <laughs> oh, God! Okay. Gotta avoid that, though. Don't like that. I'm slow! I'm slow. Your movement speed has decreased. Oh, my God. He's like a magician. He's got all these attacks. But it doesn't seem like he's doing much damage, though. Look, he's doing, like... Okay, well... <laughs> when he does decide to bite and not do an attack, he does like 300 damage, but we're just standing there. We kind of destroyed him. Looks like all the... Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, it looks like all the wild minions, the wild finners that he spawns in, are only level 75 as well right now. Yeah, look at that. That's good. That's good news for us. Okay. I think we got this. I think we're going to do good. No casualties yet. Look at this. Look at this. This conglomerate. Oh, God. We're frozen solid. Oh, God. We're so frozen solid. How long does it last? It doesn't say. It doesn't say. Okay. He's not hitting me, though. He's not hitting us, though. We're still good. We're still good. Oh, my God. Okay. That lasts way too long. What is this? What does that one do? Uh. Oh, I forgot. The Shadowmans get a hydra get the hydrated bonus just like the... Uh the Spinos do! Oh my god, that means Shadowmans are really good in this arena because there's just a big freaking river down the middle! I totally forgot about that! Okay, what, what was the shield do? I don't remember. That doesn't even tell me. It doesn't even tell me what the shield does. It's fine. It's fine! How are you guys doing in there? Let me come back over here and take care of some of these Fenrir's that are maybe hurting you a little bit. We're good, we're good, we're good. Keep fighting him! Keep fighting him! We're going to be absolutely fine, unless the alpha is just way too strong. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Here come the Fenrir. Stay away from them. You don't touch them. <laughs> All right. So, it looks like the fight. Oh, God. It looks like the fight is almost over. I am really terrified of the magic attacks, which I don't think I should be, because we are just dismantling this thing no problem wow i i can't even believe there's a river here i had forgotten about the hydrated buff 
so hard. Your dino speed, health regeneration, and damage are boosted. Wow, so that must mean that Shadowmans must be the absolute best creature you can take into this. And we just kind of fell into that by accident. Can I check your stuff? This one had 750,000 health. Way more health than the Gamma did. And we just destroyed it. No problem. Let me check your health. How'd you do? Well, ooh, okay. You got kind of torn back a little bit. We got a different rear. Oh, it's better than the last one. Interesting. We'll have to check that uh, after. I want to check the Finras at the end. You okay? The Dire Bros got torn back a little bit. How are the Shadow Mains doing? You feeling okay? Oh, I don't know. That's. I thought they weren't getting damaged, but that's a like a pretty sizable chunk of damage actually. I don't like that. I don't like that. And then where's the Megatherium at? We might be able to just check his stuff really quickly here. Uh, he got. Ooh, half. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I didn't see them getting hit a whole lot personally, but apparently they were taking a lot of damage, which is not good at all. It's not what you want to see. Um, crap. They're all following a certain shadow man. I got to find the shadow man that's not being followed. Anyway, so, um, that's not good. <laughs> I am now suddenly very nervous for the alpha fight, which I wasn't beforehand. So, uh, yeah. Oh, it's you. Is it you? It's definitely this one. Like here, we'll do a U. There we go. Perfect. Now they're not following her anymore. Anyway, so let me get a non here. Let me get everybody healed up and ready to go. And we'll just dive into the alpha fight because um, at the very least, we didn't lose anybody in the army, right? Like that's, that's gotta count for something at least. Oh God. There's no way, huh? There's no way we make it out of this next Fiendr fight without losing somebody. Yeah, that's Oh my god. Anyway, uh, yeah, so let me get everybody good to go. Let me get everybody healed up, and uh, I'll bring you guys back for the final fight. Hopefully, fingers crossed, unless we get totally torn back. Then, you know, maybe another one. Anyway, BRBs. Alrighty, guys, so we're back, and I have actually refined our strategy a little bit. Actually, a lot of bit. I changed up a lot of things because I was sitting there thinking after seeing the beta fight and realizing just how much damage we actually took. The alpha's not going to be nearly as easy as I initially thought. And we are only going to have one shot at this, you guys. These are the only alpha trophies I got. And I don't want to have to try and take on the alpha dragon again. Mainly because I'm not sure we could beat it, okay? <laughs> it took us a lot of effort to try and get that. So, with that in mind, I decided that we might want to, you know, tweak our strategy a little bit and give this an actual, like, the best go that we could. So I've changed our starting lineup just a little bit. So instead of having only eight Shadow Maidens, we now have 14 Shadow Maidens. And instead of only having, or instead of having 10 Dire Bears, we now only have four. And then we have the two Megapithecus. Because as cute as it was having a big mixture of all our armies, the bears just aren't as strong as the Shadow Maidens. And surely the Megapithecus aren't nearly as strong as the Shadow Maidens either. The Shadow Bands are just our strongest army. And on top of all of that, we found out that one, the hydration buff is a thing. I, I, I figured it out, I remembered it. And two, the hydration buff actually works inside the arena. So that is going to be our, uh, our trump card, if you will, for how we might have a chance to get this alpha done. Yeah, anyway, so that's the goal. We are gonna try and lead this whole group of Shadow Mains into the river and then fight Finrir, because if I can get them all hydration boosted, I feel like our odds of actually being successful in this fight probably double. At the, hopefully, hopefully they double. I actually have no idea. So that is the goal. Unfortunately, while I was sitting here getting everything ready, our Freya Curry, uh, it, it expired. So I don't have that. I do still have the uh, the medical brews. I do still have some prime fish meats. <sighs> yeah, you guys. So... I guess with that in mind, we have a... Uh, I've prepared as best I could. I guess we could have go in there with nothing but Shadow Mains, but I just... I don't know. I don't know if I really want to do that. I want to include a couple Megapithecus and a couple Dire Bears at least. I guess we could have gotten rid of two of the... It doesn't matter. This is what I've done. This is, this is what I've landed on. I don't know why we landed on these numbers. I just did. Let's just, without further ado... Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Let's just get in there and do it. My hands just got actually really sweaty for no reason. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, so we are in the belly of the beast. Let's make sure we get a passive going because we want to make sure we get as many of our shadow mains into this river as possible before the fight. Let's see if we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Come on. Get Finrir. We want Finrir to try and stand in the river. Oh, God. Okay. 
Go get him. Just go get him. That's as close to the river as we're going to get. And then my goal, as always, in the last two fights is to just simply stay alive as best we can. We're going to be a supporting cast of figures here. We're going to even... Here, I'll get you, I guess. Here's a little bit of a roar for you guys. Just get in there. Get your hydration boost and just hold the line. Hold the line as best you can. Oh, God. Okay. All right. This is what we were trained for. This is what we were bred for. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. This one does so much more damage than the last ones did. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, my God. His freeing radius is huge. All of them are frozen. I don't like that. I do not like that at all. I don't see... Are we missing our squad a little bit? Did we leave somebody back here? Surely not. Let me just double check to make sure the whole army's here. No? No, I guess they're all there. I don't see the Megapithecus, though. Oh, no, they're in there. They're in there. I see them. I see them. They're in there. The purple guys are in there. Let's see if we can get another roar going. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How are we doing? Okay, not great. We're not doing excellent. <laughs> all right, well, this is about... Oh, God, it's flinging them all over the place. I don't like that at all. Oh, my God. How much... How often can I roar? Not very often. Okay. Uh, I... I want to help, but I'm afraid that if it freezes me, we're going to die so fast. So, unfortunately, my best method of helping, we can't jump in there like the dragon. Because it's like, it freezes everything around its body. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. So far, so good. We haven't had a casualty yet, which is good news. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's get another roar in here now. Oh, don't hit me with that. Another roar. Nice. Ow. Even if we only get a couple shadow mains with the roar, that still helps a little bit. And they're all standing in the river at the very least, which means we're getting the hydration boost. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous, man. Oh, my God. I really like the arena, though. I'll give them that. Oh, look. The obelisk all chained up, too. Oh, my God. The map developer necking his attention to detail is so good. It's so good. Oh, God. Our first casualty. Okay, we lost the dire bear. Uh, the dire bears only have about 17,000 in health, though. Uh, they do have, they do have the Ascendant Saddles, but, uh, it makes sense that those might be the first ones to go. The Mega Pithecus have closer to 40,000 in health, and the Shadow Mains have 50,000-ish in health, so. It makes sense that we'd be losing bears first. I will say that the Mega Pithecus only have, oh god, I hate that attack so much. Uh, the Mega Pithecus only have Primitive Saddles, so, yeah, not great, not great. I'm just gonna keep running in here and sneaking in roars. I wish we had a U-Tyrannus, man. <laughs> really, that would make life a little bit easier here. We're about halfway there. I think we're going to do it. I think, we're, I think we're on pace to do it. Oh, God lag. Oh, God lag. I think we're on pace to do it, man. I think this river strategy is really, like, it's helping us out big time. I think we're on pace to do this, hopefully. We've only lost one. We've only lost one. Let's take a peek. Oh, the, the Megapithecus looks really hurt. It's really bloody. I can't tell. It looks like the dire bears are pretty hurt, too, which isn't good. We might start losing more bears. We might start losing more bears. Come over here. Let's keep Let's keep getting... Oh, God. Oh, that deck right there just freezes them all solid. Don't worry. I'll roar you guys. Maybe that'll help. Okay, then another bear down. Two of our four bears are officially dead. Don't like that. We only have a third of his health left to go, you guys. Come on. Pour it on him. Let him have it. I'm, like, actually really nervous. Everything's sweating. I'm sweating everywhere. Too much. I'm breaking the fourth wall, I know. Too much information. <laughs> oh, the Megapithecus is really, really bloody. This might be our best one out of the three so far. The, oh, yeah, there he goes. Megatherium's done. I can call him the Megapithecus. I'm sorry. One of the Megatheriums is down. Maybe both of them. I don't know. Uh, this might be our best strategy out of the, out of the three, though. Well... Maybe not anymore. I was going to say, we actually have them 100% surrounded. There goes another dire bear. So we should have one more dire bear in there unless I missed it killing all four of them. And it looks like it did actually kill both our mega megatheriums. Oh, no, there it goes. Okay. Now it's killed both our megatheriums and at least three dire bears. At least three. I don't actually see the fourth bear in there. So the fourth bear might very well be dead as well. Oh, God, I hate that. I hate the freezing technique. Let me roar on you guys here. I don't see a bear in there. At the, oh, God. Ow. Ow. No, I'm frozen too. Come on. We got to move. We got to move. If anything, I have to survive here. Come on. Please. Oh, my God. Move. Move. Okay. How are we doing? We should have this. We should have this. We should have this unless the shadow men start dropping like flies. Are we good? I 
can't tell. I actually can't tell. I don't know how we're doing. I think we're doing great. Here comes another wave of Penrears. I think we got this. I think we got this. Pour it on him. Come on. Just a little bit more and we're done. A little bit more and we'll be champs. I'm sitting here like a real king fighting the battle from behind the line. <laughs> Rooting on the troops. Oh, they got this. They got this. Okay, I think all four bears must be dead because there's no way. If the other ones died this fast, surely that one died. There it is. There it is. Oh, my God. Okay, Um, let me do this. Let me just check. How much health does he right. have? How are you feeling, Mr. Fenrir? How, how much health? Oh, my God. Wait. Is that one one million two hundred thousand health? Oh my god! Really? Holy crap! That was in. That's a lot of health. Oh, we got the Mjolnir. We got it. A mighty hammer fit for a god. I don't think we can actually use it though. But we got the skin. And then how? Level two twenty five? Wow. Okay, this fitter is actually a champ. Okay. Um. All right, first and foremost, before we do anything else, let me just take a peek. How are you doing? You feeling okay? Okay, actually, not as beat up as I thought they would do. They only lost about 20,000 in health in this one. How are you feeling? You lost a little bit. You lost at least half health. Okay, I think that hydration boost you guys might have saved it. I really do. Oh, yeah, 25,000. I really think that might have been the difference in that fight, you guys. Oh, my God. Okay, let me just let's start putting them away. Let's see which one has the stuff. Was it you? It's not you. You? Nope. You? It's this one. What do you got? There it is! Alpha Finn result for trophy and all the elements. Nice. Okay. Oh, that feels so good to be done. Let me just grab Steven. Uh, we'll put all this stuff in a non here like so. Uh, boom, 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 boom. All the other meats. Okay. I guess we're good. I think we're... I think we've officially done it. Let me grab the other Finners out. We'll compare these here in a minute. Let me put all of our um, Shadow Mains away before I forget here. Go ahead and grab all of you. Wow! We <laughs> I can't believe it. We completed the Fjorder, you guys, and we did all of it without taming a single Rex. Every armory we used was a little bit different besides the Megatheriums, which, you know, I just... We were, we were low on time, and I was sick, and it was the best thing. Anyway, here we go. So let me put these guys away here. We'll just leave Anon here for now, uh, holding all this stuff. I can't believe we're done. I can't believe it. I can't believe we've actually done it. Um. Anyway, so uh, this is the one we got from the Gamma. It's 150. Uh, this is the one we got for the Beta, and then this is the one we got for the, the Alpha. I don't know if you can breed these. It'll be interesting to see. All right, let's take a look. Uh, you know what? It'd probably be easier. Um, let's just... Let's get him out of the cryopod. Is that gonna... Oh, my God. The cryo timer. That's so stupid. Uh, and then, I, can I put him away in a soul ball? I can! Okay. I hate I hate this so much. That means we're gonna have to wait this long before we get one out. Fine. Whatever. So, uh... Okay. So, the Gamma one at 150 has 25 into all of its stats besides weight and melee. Which it has 29 points in the weight and 20 into melee. Interesting. So only 4,000 something health. It's okay. It's interesting. Let me, um, I guess so that we don't get cryo sickness. Let me just wait really quickly so I can uncryopod the other ones and then we can actually compare their stats side by side here. And we'll just see, um, we'll just see how this looks. <laughs> Cause it goes from like 4,500 to 6,000. Anyway, yeah. Let me let, let me let all the cryopod go all the way down, and then uh, I'll bring you guys back. All right, so I finally got the third one done, the cryo timer all the way down. So now we can actually compare their stats side by side, no problem. So the the Gamma one has 25 across the board, except for its weight and melee, which is interesting. Uh, it's got a little more weight and a little let well, a lot less melee. Let's see what the beta does. Our only male has... Interesting! So 30 across the board... Um, so it went up by five levels across the board altogether, and then it went to, it went up a lot in weight. It went up 10 and what's so weird. Why? What's the logic behind that? Okay. So it went up five across the board. Uh, it went up 10 in melee, and then it actually went up 10, 10 in melee as well. So instead of 20, it's got 30. It's so weird. Okay. Interesting. So this one's up to 5,250 health with 301 and then the alpha, let's see, does this one go up five as well? It does. So it goes up 35 across the board again, including the melee, and then another 10 in weight. So this one has 6,000 
health, and then 330 melee. Interesting. Uh, okay, so now that we have them in Soul Trap, let's see. It said that they were different colors here, so let's see if that's actually true. We only have one male. You can mate boost them. That's interesting. And there's a pack boost. I didn't know that. All right, so it's true. There are different color Fenrirs. Look at that. Interesting. I wonder if this is the only, like, I wonder if you get this specific. Oh, my God. I'm tongue tied. Okay, here we go. I wonder if you get this specific color of Fenrir every time out of Gamma and then Beta and Alpha, right? Because this one does have, like, a more reddish tint to it. I love him. I love him so much. Okay, so we got two females, one male. Let me just see really quickly. Can you breed these? I wouldn't imagine you could, but maybe. Let's see. Is there an option to do it? Behavior. Oh, God. I don't see it. Allow AI special attacks. Wow. I don't I don't think you can, which makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah, okay. I don't think you can. Okay, that makes sense. But actually, let's see. Behavior. Allow AI special attacks might be good. Let's do that. Uh, behavior. Allow AI special attacks. And can we level them up? Oh, you can! Maybe. Let's see if it catches up. How much health? Okay, we can. Interesting. All right. All right, so let's let's go ahead and take the fingers out for a little bit of a spin here. Oh my god, I've been waiting to do this for a long time. I have not had a Fenrir ever, you guys, even in the modded map. So this is going to be a first for me. Uh, right off rip, I'm feeling like we're going to want a little bit more than 6,000 health on these things. Cause, oh my god, I love him. Look at him! Oh my god, I love you so much. Okay, uh, let's let's see if we can figure this out. So we got a little bit of a pack boost here. It's got its left-click attack. It's just a bite. It's right click attack is what? What did I just do? What the heck was that? I don't know what I just did. He did something. Okay, left. Right click didn't do anything. Let's see, does it have an X? No. Do you have a C? Oh! Oh, what just happened? Oh, God! Okay, so we got the... Oh, that's how you get the armor. In the top right, frigid armor. Increases the armor of frozen fur. Uh, inflicts return damage to attackers and grants freeze immunity at the cost of stamina. Okay. So as long as we have this, it looks like our stamina drains a lot, but it's like thorns where we can actually hurt people. That's so cool. Okay, and here's the right click. I don't know what that does. Oh, there it is. Okay, in the bottom left. I see, I see, I see. It looks like it might be a bit of a charged up attack or something. Uh, let's just get into a, a little bit of a fight here. I want to see. I want to see what it does. How do we get rid of the armor? Is it just C again? It is C again. And we can bring it back whenever we want. Interesting. Oh my god, there's so much science that needs to be done here. But for now, let's get rid of it so that we can keep our stamina going. Alright. You, Bronto guy, you will be the recipient of our science. We just did 338 with the normal attack and 241 with that one. Get in there. Get in there. So, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I love it. Okay, this is worth. This is so worth. Are they still coming? They are. Okay. Alright, let's see. What is, what is this doing now? No, I wanted... Oh, did I not do it? I don't know. I don't know. So, we ha we turned on the ability for the AI to do the special attacks as well. Uh, which I guess means it does that lunge charge attack? I'm not sure. We kind of just... We kind of just set ourselves into quite the battle here. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, hold on. Let's just kill everything. They're fighting this Bronto. There's a there's a U-Tyrannus. Let's go in here like this. Let me do this. Let's see... Oh, wrong and correct. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Let me see how much damage we receive now when we do this. Okay. How much do you hurt for me now? Or at all? They, they, they don't hurt at all. Come on, attack me! They can't. We're just too strong. <laughs> Never mind. We might not ever know. All right. Let's get... Uh, let's do health a little bit here. It's got armor like the Shadow Mane. That's cool. 80. Neat. And that's Ascendant. Ascendant Frozen Armor. Interesting. Uh, let me do this. Oh, you know what it might be? Hold on. Is it because of this? Nicole, let's get rid of the spikes and then let's check again. It is! Look! Because now it's primitive frozen armor with only 10. Interesting. So it goes from 10 to 80, which is... Uh, that's that's neat. Okay, let me check you guys now because I'm curious. Because so they all have the same armor. is the same across the board, just like Shadow Mains. Okay. That makes sense, though. It does. Uh, all right. Let's go and <laughs> let's continue. Let's continue mauling things. Oh my god, so worth. It looks like they definitely nerfed this thing a little bit from the from what I saw of it in the um the mod, but they probably had to. Like having a creature that is this wild just in, in the official probably wouldn't have been good and really healthy for the game, right? But 
Props to them for at least releasing it to the game. I'm kind of glad you can't breed it. That would be a little bit too insane, I think. But I like it a lot. So I know that you can actually, if we had any dire wolves tamed, we could run around with them and that would also include increase our pack boost. Or we could just run around with our Finrears like this and just go nuts. I love this so much. It's so good. Uh, I see I see something down there. Let's go down there and fight it. There's a mammoth. Ooh, let's not kill her. Let's not kill our Finrear to fall damage instantly either. That would suck. Okay. And then one more. Oh, God. There's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of mammoth here. There's a bunch of mammoth here. I landed on it. Okay. Uh, don't want to attack. No one do nothing. No one piss it off. Okay, where are the other people? Hello? There's one. Is he stuck up there? Hello? <laughs> he looks like he's stuck. Oh, no. I didn't bring a... Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> I didn't bring another um flyer with me, so we're going to have to try and unstick him ourselves. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Turf war. Turf war. Get him, Finrear. <laughs> I'm glad that we got a combination of males and females, though, so we could actually test some stuff out with the mate boost and everything. It's so good. Oh, my God. I love it. Okay. Um, Crap. Let me... Crap. Let me go back up there. Let me get our guy and then uh, bring him back down and we can have a chat about uh, some things to come. There are a couple more things to come that I would like to share with you guys here. So, Bear Bees. Okay. So, not even kidding. Like, two, three seconds after I stopped recording, our other Fenrir just ran up. It, like, unstuck itself and just ran up, apparently. Uh, let me just check really quickly that it can... Disable AI special attack. So it is supposed to be doing the special attacks. It is. Uh, cool. Cool. Let me just make sure I got it on this one as well. Behavior. Um, only target conscious. That's a good one too. So you don't hit something you knocked. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So I want to talk to you guys about what is next. So this could very well be the last video in the Fjorder series. But there might be there might be some few mores, right? Like never say never. Because uh, there's a couple things I'd like to do. But for right now, for the rest of the year, this is probably closest to the last video we are going to have on this series because we have a new series coming. We have a new series coming. I know I've talked about it a little bit with you guys, uh, just a tiny bit, but I have been trying to prep a lot for this new series coming up. And let me just give you guys a hint. I know I already kind of have, but I am going to dip my toe a little bit more into the mod pool. So in this next series, I think we're going to be doing a little bit more mod things. So yeah. Something to look forward to. I think that's what we're going to be doing here. Uh, oh, that's, this is a 150 mammoth. <laughs> oh, God. No match for the fin rears, though. Let's kill all the rest of this stuff, too, while we're here. Kill it all. Everything must die. Uh, so with that being said, you guys, I think at the very least, for these next, like, five, six days, whatever is left of the remainder of this year, I think I'm just going to spend that time with family and getting prepared for the next series to be up. Do you know? I just, a couple, I don't, I, I want to spend some time with my family for the holiday. I'm sure you guys can all respect that. Also, I hope you guys had a good Christmas, by the way. Comment down below. Was your Christmas good? Even if it wasn't, maybe we can uh, send you some love on Twitter or something. I don't know. Let me know how your Christmas went. I hope it went well. But I, I would like to spend a little bit of time with the family for the holiday instead of uh, worrying about the upload schedule. Just for a bit. Just for a bit. Like, five, we are so stuck. Um, Just for a bit, you know, at least five days. And that'll also give me time to preparate. Or, wow, preparate uh, to prepare for this next series because there's a lot of a uh, there's a lot more moving parts in it than I am usually used to, so it's probably gonna take me a little bit to get that all ready to go. So I hope you guys understand and kind of get where I'm coming from here, but I think it'll be good, healthy for the channel, a good fresh restart, man. We are officially the kings of the Fjorder, but I don't know. I kind of a uh, I elaborated on it a little bit in the other episode, but I feel like this map came out and all us art creators were like, yes, something fresh and new and let's just attack it. And then we did it and we kind of burnt ourselves out on it really quickly. Uh, and for me, it was kind of a little bit worse than that because I was really enjoying it, really having a good time doing the Fjorda series. And then I got sick and then I got sidelined on it for a couple of months where I wasn't able to do anything. So uh, we have been doing our series a lot longer than most channels, dude. And, uh, you know, there's not much you can do when it's a health option like that. But still, I'm a little, I got a little bit burned out on it, I think. So I'm really excited to start the next chapter of our series. Starting in the next year, uh, we might have a, a, one more video coming up with like a year in review talking about 
what we accomplished in only a year's time, which is actually a lot. Like, we have done a lot this year. Oh, my God, ants. Really? Come on. They shouldn't attack you if we're on, like, something like a Finrear, right? They just should just... I guess ants don't have brains. I don't... <sighs> anyway, so I guess what I'm trying to say is... We might not have a lot of videos coming up for the rest of this year because I want to spend some time with family. I want to get some stuff prepared for the next series, you guys. Um, this one has been a lot of fun. Leave a like, comment down below if you enjoyed it. it was, it's a lot of fun. We may still come back and do more stuff on the Fjorder. But for now, we're going to officially add Fjorder to our cluster so that we can hop over here and do things whatever we want. And then uh, we're going to look forward to the new series in the new coming year. I think it's going to be fun. I've been thinking about doing this for quite a while. Now I've been wanting to do it. And now that we have beaten Fjorder, it kind of just lines up properly. Um, as well as we have another big video coming up. I'm sure you guys can guess the more well and tuned around. You can probably take a look at the community stuff and realize kind of maybe what I have planned, maybe, but I have another big video coming up. And besides that, we may have some collaboration videos with some larger uh, YouTubers coming up as well. There's a lot of balls in the air right now, so a lot to be excited for coming in the new year. And I just, I want to take a second. I know we're not doing anything in game, but I want to take a second right now and just thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching this Fjorder series. You know, stop finishing the Lost Island series, which was great, and going to this one. I wasn't sure if this would be successful, and you guys made it a success. You made me enjoy doing these videos. Every time I turn on the game, even when I started to get burned out, I was like, you know what? Let's do it. Let's, let's go conquer the Fjorder, and we have officially done it. I know it took us longer because of my health reasons than most, but it was a lot of fun. Honestly, you guys, it was. So, yeah, I think I recapped on everything I want to recap for, and uh, yeah. Enjoy the rest of your year. Have a good New Year's Eve. I know it's, I don't really know when this is going to go live, but we're probably around there. So have a good New Year's. I hope you had a good Christmas. Comment down below, actually. I'll, this, this is what I'll leave you guys off on. Comment down below, what mods would you guys like to see in the new series? Because there might be more of them out there that I don't know of, and we can maybe incorporate those during this preparation time. That's kind of good. That's a good idea, actually. But yes, please, comment down below your favorite mods. I'm not a big modded guy, so yeah, I could definitely use your help. Anyway, yes, with all that being said, you guys, for at least the time being, we have completed the order. We are the kings of the Fjorder. We have taken the crown back from Fenrir. It belongs to us. We survived the Ragnarok. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next year, I guess. Or in the next episode. I don't know. How do we sign these up? I'll see you guys in another video. How about that? I'm out. Peace.